I've lived in the local area for over 20 years and it really is a great place. It's on the edge of the green belt, we're within striking distance of the West End, there's lots of places to go, we've got great schools, good parks, low crime, it really is a, a wonderful place to live. The beauty of it is our local people get on extremely well together, but there's always more to be done and the MP's job is to stand up for local people and give them a firm voice. As leader of the council, I was heavily involved in helping the local health authority pursue its plans to rebuild Finch Memorial Hospital. As most people know, it's heavily used and much loved, but the buildings are old at the end of their useful life. The government has promised to rebuild the hospital here, and my job, if the MP, is to bang the table to make sure that the promised money is actually delivered. I've been closely involved in the breast cancer screening campaign here in Finchley. Three years ago I discovered that the screening service had problems. The equipment was old and analogue and the take-up was poor. Now, working with partners and applying pressure, the equipment has been replaced with state-of-the-art digital screening machines. The next step is to press for a purpose-built screening unit at the rebuilt Finchton Memorial Hospital. And if I'm elected as the MP for the area, I'll continue to press for state-of-the-art centre at the rebuilt hospital. This is one of the busiest junctions in London, if not the country, and everybody in Finchley and Golders Green knows Henley's Corner and how dangerous the junction can be. I've been meeting with Transport for London for an overhaul of the junction to improve not only traffic flow, but also pedestrian safety. The image of politicians isn't always a good one. Sometimes that negative image is deserved, but most of the time I don't think it is. Most MPs work very hard, and I hope that if I'm lucky enough to be elected, I'll continue to be accessible. As a local councillor, I spend a great deal of my time on the doorstep, holding public meetings where people can come and talk to me and ask questions directly. The thing about Mike is it matters to him. He knows that people have issues, they have problems. He genuinely cares. Over the next few weeks, I hope to speak to as many people as possible, knocking on doors to give people the opportunity to talk to me directly and raise any issues that they want to. I always promise people an answer. They may not like the answer, but it will be an honest one. So if you want to talk to me, uh, want to ask me a question or raise a problem, then please get in touch.